So hello everyone, welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is our fourth lesson on human factors. We're going to talk about the pilot equipment relationship. This is also broadly uh, called ergonomics. So let's talk, uh, begin by talking about controls and displays, errors in interpretation and control. So different, uh, some aircraft have different instruments or instruments that are displayed differently. So here's an example uh, comparing a Western and a Russian artificial horizon. So in a Western uh, artificial horizon or attitude indicator, the, the horizon moves up and down on the aircraft. So you can see in the Western horizon, it's the, the aircraft's in a banked attitude and the horizon remains the same. However, in a Russian artificial horizon, the, the horizon stays in plane with the aircraft and then the aircraft moves on the horizon bar. So obviously if you're used to flying in cloud with a western artificial horizon attitude indicator display, well the Russian one's really going to throw you for a loop when the horizon's staying the same and the wings are just moving. Here's an aircraft even uh, or two western displays but different brand uh, of displays that you can see. The left is on a 737 it looks like and if you look at the top where it tells you what our uh, turn is like, notice how both of them uh, we're in a in a turn to the right. Okay, and but look where the arrow is and how the arc is depicted on either one. On the first one, the 737, the the arc on the outside remains the same and the arrow moves, and then on the other one it's the opposite. So you could see this could potentially throw you for a loop if you're trying to figure out are you turned to the left or you turn to the right. There's a couple errors in the interpretation of maps, north up versus track up. So you should be flying with your track up so that things on the left and things to the right are as they are outside. You can also misinterpret the scale. Let's say you're flying along in an aircraft that's going faster or slower than what you're used to, and you think you're farther along than you actually are. Also, the, you could have unfamiliarity with the chart legend and elevation uh, tinting. Lastly, you should always use a checklist correctly. Uh, first off, you should always use a checklist for critical uh, phases of flight, such as before takeoff and uh, let's say before landing. The best way to use a checklist you read the checklist aloud and follow along with your finger. So you would read the item flaps, you check to make sure that the flaps are in the correct position, and then you state the setting, the second part and the checklist, 10 degrees set for takeoff. Displays may be different in different types or even the same type, so be aware of those differences. You wanna hold maps, track up, and use checklists correctly. Put your finger on each line and read the checklist out loud. What is a major risk of flying the same aircraft with different displays? A, the visual depiction of a flight condition may be displayed differently. So yeah, that is a very real possibility. B, the color selection on different displays may be different. No, generally it's the same. The earth is a brown color, the sky is blue. C, the order of instrumentation may be different. Uh, that's pretty rare. Uh, most aircraft are, everything is displayed in like the six pack configuration and D, none of the above. So the correct answer is A. That concludes this lesson on pilot equipment relationships. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you in our next lesson.